Hi there, I'm Colin Fleming from the Print and Press Bar and Restaurant in Edinburgh at the George Hotel. Uh, today we're going to cook uh, wood pigeon, smoked uh, heritage beetroot salad, and crowded cheese. We start off prepping the pigeon. Just take the legs off the pigeon. This pigeon's from Belerno, you say? This pigeon's locally uh, shot in Belerno, which is basically about three, three to four miles outside Edinburgh. So we try our hardest to use, obviously, local, local fresh ingredients as much as we can. It's a good time of year for pigeon. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the dish is very much in season with the beetroot and the pigeon at the moment. So yeah, it's it's very very seasonal dish. So we've got all the trimmings from the pigeon. What we do with this, we roast this off with some mirepoix vegetables. Cook it all down, nicely roasted. Deglaze with some sherry, sherry vinegar. Some pork, pork inside. Reduce it and uh, some brown chicken stock. That's our sauce for the actual dish. Nothing, nothing really goes to waste, you know, it's not like we've prepped it down, it's all there, it's all been used. We're very much all about using the whole part of the, whether it be bird or cow or lamb, you know. It's very, uh, very important to what we do in the restaurant. So you're breaking that down, do you do, you, do, you do the same with your uh, beef carcasses and lamb, that sort of thing, or is that more? Not, at, not at the moment, but we will do in the future, we'll be getting a butchery set up where we can break down our whole animals and use every cut of meat from the animal. We're just going to lightly season the bird. It's quite important to season the inside of the carcass as well. Legs hot pan. We just want to get a little bit of colour on each side of the breast. Yeah, it's nice, nice uh, cook it. Take it. I find if you take it off the breast, off the bone, the breast shrinks when you cook it. It keeps the shape better if you cook it actually on the bone. And then if you cook it on the bone, it gives you flavour also. A little bit of garlic in there and some uh, fresh thyme. So now we're just going to add a little bit of butter. We've got quite a lot of butter actually. Uh, just helps get the bird nice and golden brown. I think with pigeon it's very important that you serve it nice and pink. Uh, any game you overcook is going to be it's going to be chewy and uh, not going to be nice to eat. So we serve in the restaurant pink. We recommend to the customers that come serve pink. So yeah. See, the butter's starting to go a nice nutty colour. That's where you get your colour going into the skin of the pigeon as well. We're going to get that really nice garlic and thyme flavour running through the bird as well. Now you just want to place the pigeon in a hot oven for about eight to four, eight to four minutes. Check it after that, then we'll let it rest. Rest for about um, maybe two or three minutes, then we'll carve it. We'll just have a bit. So here we have the, the beetroot that we're going to serve with the pigeon. Three different types of beetroot. We've got um, some pickled beetroot here. So we just pickle this half white wine vinegar, half sugar, a little bit of star anise, a little bit of coriander seed. It's three, three different colours. We've got the normal beetroot, pink beetroot, and uh, golden beetroot. This here is just in a julienne form, which means just nicely sliced beetroot. So that's again the same sort of variations. Again, same same types of beetroot, but what we've done with these is we roast them in the oven on, a, on some salt and some uh, thyme. After we roast them, we peel them down, 
we cut, cut them up and we've got a Bradley smoker in the back which we smoke for maybe about 30 minutes just to get a nice light like, uh, smoky flavour. Yeah, yeah. And in, in here we have some crowdy cheese, a nice Scottish cheese. Uh, quite, a, quite a soft cheese. Um, and we just, what we do, we, ro we break this down with a little bit of cream, soften it up a little bit. We also have some uh, finely grated roasted hazelnuts inside here. So uh, the hazelnuts work very well with the pigeon and the crowded cheese, obviously, the beetroot. So it's quite a seasoned dish. Eats very well, all comes together, you know. It's a dish we're, we're very happy with. I've just brought it out of the oven, I'm just going to a little press, check, you know, how if it's very firm, it means we've been in the oven too long and it's overcooked. It's still springing back to me, so it's telling me, you know, it's still quite, quite rare. So I'm going to flip it back over. I'm just going to give it a little beef again. So if you were to compare it to the steak at the moment, this would be... It's, it's rare, yeah. So another minute, minute or so in the oven, and we should be good to go. We'll just let it rest. Also, cooking game, it's very important that we let it rest as well. If we pick a piece of meat, and it doesn't rest. You know, it's it's, it's, it's very it's, it's very tight. The meat's very tight. It's not going to be kept tight for a while. You know, it's we can let it keep it going for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Place it back in the oven for a minute or so. Now it's time to uh, dress up our, our beetroot. We don't really need to do much to the beetroot, it's all of the work's really been done in the, for the beetroot. Um, we're just going to dress with a little rapeseed oil and a little, a little seasoning just to uh, finish it off. Yeah. The butter's now got all that lovely roasted garlic and thyme flavour. So we're now ready to rest. Just let the pigeon rest in a nice warm place. This, this here is the pigeon dew we were talking about earlier on. That's made from the carcasses, the mirepoix, pork, sh uh, sherry vinegar. Uh, so got all the pigeon flavour in this bottle. So in here we just have some uh, roasted hazelnuts, peeled down, chopped, roughly chopped up. So this is also through the, um, the crowded cheese. It's obviously it's a lot finer going through the cheese than it is going on the plate. So again it's giving you a bit of texture. We've got the soft cheese there, the soft beetroot. Uh, so we, we always want a bit of texture in our dishes as well. So, so what? Whilst it's a fairly simple dish, yeah. with you know, four or five actual ingredients, yeah. there's a huge amount of different steps. But yeah, I think yeah, it's, it's, it's important to know people are yeah. coming in and paying. They want quality, maybe it's used, uh, you know, we try, we try to do the food as simple as possible. This is, you know, the key ingredients, as you see in the plate, but we all also want the pigeon to be the main star. The star. Sure. Pigeon works a treat with beetroot, and uh, the sweetness of the beetroot, the cheese, the crunchiness of the nuts. 
So we're just going to carve the pigeon off the breast of the. As you can see, we still remain nice and pink throughout.